the, the focus is not to get rid of October 19th, but to officially make October 19th a day when we're going to look back at our at the people who would have contributed to Grenada, who would have given their lives for Grenada, those who would have been hurt or harmed by events that occurred in Grenada. So it's not really getting rid of October 19th or downplaying October 19th. In fact, what we're doing is promoting October 19th. It is and so on. But I, I don't think um, it is it is a wise idea for us to launch um, our 50th anniversary celebrations in, in, in such a, um, a, a cloud of criticisms and so on. I don't think that is warranted. I don't think that is necessary, you see. And um, it is a sensitive date. But let us get on to uh, another contentious topic here. And, and, and I would cite uh, from a now Grenada publication. Of course, that, that, that issue also came up uh, in, in the press conference. Uh, you were pressed by my colleague, Kalistra Faria, there on, on, on that very issue. But other people chimed in on this. We also received an email, which I'm going to, to quote from. Uh, but I want to quote from Mr. Gill. Uh, Mr. Gill said, quote, I cannot understand the logic, neither the historical or philosophical link between the two, in other words, linking October 19th to the 50th anniversary of independence. Indeed, our 50th anniversary independence celebrations should be a different mood, a different mindset is required for October 19th, which the prime minister himself called for, unquote. Um, then Mr. Gill goes on to say the October 19th holiday is long overdue and the government ought to be applauded for that. However, October 19th should not be diluted by combining it with any other activity. If we are to be somber and reflective on October 19th, it should be completely in tribute and in honor to all those who lost their lives on that fateful day in 1983, unquote. Now, I'm also going to share a letter, uh, an email that we received. We received that email this week. Uh, Maurice Lagrenade Lashley said the following. She says, in February 2024, Grenada will celebrate 50, its 50th anniversary as an independent nation. Our Golden Jubilee will rightly so be a joyful and festive occasion, one that honors our rich history as a sovereign nation. Permit me to say, however, that I find the recent announcement of the launch of 50th independence celebration on October 19th deeply disturbing. October 19th, 1983 and February 7th, 1974 are in symbolic terms two very important, but two very different dates in our history. October 19th is a solemn day that reawakens painful emotions for many who experienced the violence and terror of that unforgettable day in 1983. She goes on to say, while I'm certain that this was not the intent, it strikes some, myself included, as jarring and incongruous to launch our independent celebrations on what is a day of mourning and remembrance, particularly for older Grenadians. Uh, it goes on, but we we're going to put that up on uh, on the Bobby Ports uh, pages. But uh, Dr. Daniel, uh, given that public reaction, that has been the initial gut reaction from many people. Would the committee reconsider the decision uh, to not have to 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 have uh, uh, the launch of independent celebrations on October nineteenth? Um, Kellen, I did expect that question from you. Um, it has been the buzz around. The one thing I want to say about what I'm happy about yes. the buzz is that people have are speaking, people are getting into the are getting into the discussion, complacent. Yes. We have no complacency. People are getting so at least it has started. We need to speak discussion. their minds. That's oh, one yes. thing about us. A good discussion. <laughs> and I think I welcome that. We have had Lots of um, calls, lots of um, comments similar to what you would have read as to what was the thinking, what are we doing, mm -hmm. and and um, oh, what are we doing by celebrating um, our Golden Jubilee on October 19th. I just want to make one correction. Maybe our definition, the use of the word celebration. Our definition of the word celebration. Maybe it conveys a fetting, 
lining, whining, irresponsible behavior. I'm not sure what it conveyed. But um, I get the, the impression it sort of conveyed that to people. And so we want to show basically the national significance of the two events and how they correspond. The activities for National Heroes Day, such a very important and significant event, which, as you know, for the first time in 40 years, we, we will be honoring our own. We will be celebrating the people who went before us, who have contributed in a big way to Grenada. And we are looking at that date as a, one of the darkest days in our history. And so as part that, that, that occurred during the period of the early period of our independence, as you earlier indicated. So we saw that when it was announced by the, the, the cabinet that national um, that um, Hero, National Heroes Day will be October the 19th, our committee thought, hmm, what greater tribute can we place to our heroes? to the persons who went before us, those who made such major contribution to our country, than to use that opportunity, National Heroes Day, to start the event. And what better event is it to start? In that solemn note, because it's not a celebration of, of um, the crazy stuff that we have interpreted, celebration is all about. We have a nice, well, um, designed program for that day. The focus, of course, is the National Heroes Day. And we are just using it to launch, the start of the activities. We have a series of events planned from October. In fact, we started since earlier um, in October with Nicole's book before the official launch. When Nicole, we, we, the committee of which Nicole is a part of, we celebrated that for the first time in our history, we are telling our history by, we, we are telling our own history, written by our, about us, by someone, one of us. So, and in keeping with that focus on history and heritage and reflection and um, looking back so that we do not make the same mistakes again. I listened to, I'm not sure if you listened to William Joseph's um, podcast, and he's making that, that same, similar point, that there's so much that um, we can learn that we do not go back in, in history and make the same mistakes again. So when um, the decision was made, when we, we thought there's so much similarities in what is meant by independence and what we're trying to do, and... Um, honoring our own on National Heroes Day. For 40 years, we, we have honored everybody else. For 40 years, we have um, looked outside. For 40 years, external people made decisions as to how we, how we, how we um, commemorate that day. And so I think that is a mark of independence that the committee decided we're going to start and we are starting with an introspective event so we twin and tie into that because we saw the historical significance of it. Mm -hmm. So it is, not a, it is not an event that's going to be involving all of this um, wild behavior. That's well, I mean, it, 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 should, it should not. I mean, I don't think February 7th is a quote-unquote wild behavior either. And, right. Um, but February, but, the independence, um, the main activities of the independence, uh, we have blocked out a period in Jan end of January to about middle February, where there'll be intense activities. So the thinking of was not to offend anyone, and I'm sorry if um the com the decision offended anyone. But that was certainly I, not. I, the I, I, I believe it, it ruffled a lot of feathers, but yes, but I I, I I I want to bring in Mr. Gill. So what right, you're right. telling me here is that you're not going to change your decision. It's cast in stone, even mm -hmm. though you're getting that feedback this from the, the public that says you should day. not have that on that day. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, once people see the historic significance of the two and how they're connected, it's not. It's 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 the start of the start of the the, the um, jubilee. Uh, yeah, for us. Okay, uh, Mr. Gill. Yes, thank you very much, 
Mm, Dr. Bob, allow me to, to first of all um, commend um, Dr. Crawford Daniel and her team for spearheading the 50th anniversary celebrations. And uh, just listening to her um, speak about the plans with regards to commemorating through the parishes and all of the activities that is planned, I, I it is a daunting task and a lot of hard work um, has gone into and will continue to go into the 50th anniversary celebrations. So allow me to, to commend the team highly for doing so. And I know um, most of this is through voluntarism and um, enough time we don't speak about that. People are giving up their time selflessly for nationhood. And um, sometimes we that goes under the carpet. Um, secondly, I, I must say that I pray that these 50th anniversary celebrations must not be shrouded in controversy at all. I see our 50th anniversary celebrations as being apolitical. In other words, there is no NNP, no NDC, no religion, no nothing, no nothing, just Grenadianism. That well, except the, 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 the Garyites may disagree. I, I say that. Well, yeah, but you know, um, this is about Grenada. <laughs> yes. This is about Grenada, and I hope that we make it about Grenada and not about anyone or anything else. You see, mm -hmm. it's extremely important that our 50th anniversary celebrations um, runs off smoothly. I mean, of course. Being Grenadian, we will see what we like and dislike and so on. And that's fair game. But um, really and truly, um, we must participate and make the events as best as we can, be part of the process as best as we can. I go in everything I could go in. Right? I mean, that's, 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 you know. So that's, I, I, I want us to um, be in the spirit of nationhood and nation building as we celebrate the 50th anniversary celebration. That's, that's, that's extremely important. And um, this, um, so my criticism of October 19th is, is in no way um, meant to create a controversy. In fact, um, other persons have spoken about it. And I, you know, from the first time I heard it, I was like, because regardless of how the committee would want to make that day, October 19th, Heroes Day, which I applaud. We cannot get away from the fact of what that day is. So you want to make it a particular way, but the fact of the matter is that it will always be a tragic day and one of the darkest days in our post-independence history. We cannot escape that. And um, to take, when we say launch, we're using that day as a platform to launch, yes? And we're using one of the darkest days to celebrate. I don't think celebrations necessarily connotes wild behavior at all. I think the 50th anniversary celebration, 50th independence anniversary is worthy of celebration. Mm -hmm. And we're going to celebrate. Celebrate our independence. Because under colonial rule, right up to 1974, our people were enslaved. Our nations were, were ruled um, by a foreign power. Our people worked for minimum wages or no wages at all. That is why we had the 1951 revolution and so on, right? We have, on 1974, the British government never gave us a cent for our national development. They never left monies for Uncle Gary to pay admin, um, public servants or to build roads and bridges and schools and hospitals. So down with the British. And it's reason to celebrate that we now, 50 years on, we have been given an opportunity now to define ourselves as a nation. And we have made mistakes. We have turned wrong corners. But my God, we haven't done so bad. And it's reason to celebrate. So I want to celebrate. I'm absolutely clear about it. I, I, I'm behaving well. But as a pro Grenadian, I, I, I am happy that my country has reached this far. Because really and truly, the British never thought we would have made it, you know. The British never thought that Caribbean nations, from the time Bustamante in Jamaica, Eric Williams in Trinidad and so, approached them. And when little Grenadians go and say we want independence, they never thought we would have make it. They thought we would have come crawling on our knees 
and beg them. That's what they thought. So we have done well. My issue is that on October 19th, and allow me to commend some persons. I think we, when we speak of October 19th and the fact that for the first time, 40 years, we have in a holiday. I think um, we must mention people like Dr. Terence Marishow and Miss Bain and um, Peggy Nesfield and, and Brian Lindsay and so on for keeping that date in the consciousness of our people for so long. Despite what? They have kept throughout the years doing a little thing, putting written and keeping the memory of those who died on October 19th. And I think, as my respectful view, that such a sober day where families are still hurting, bodies are yet to be found, that regardless of how we name the day, the, the sadness and the hurt and the tragedy continues to linger and will continue to linger. And um, I, I, I believe that the independence celebrations can be launched on any other day, frankly. And I just don't see it, regardless of the design of the independence of the day, the activity plan for the day, regardless of the design of that activity. Um, I can't see the historical connection at all as with a post-independence tragedy to launch, to launch a 50th anniversary. So I fail to see the historical connections, frankly. Yes, and, and let us be absolutely clear that there are heroes and patriots who have defined the, 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 the past of Grenada, the history of Grenada, that are not associated with October 19th. Yes, so it is not October 19th full stop with regards to heroes and national icons. It has spread over a period of time. So, I would urge respectfully that the committee relook the October 19th. I don't think it should something that should be laid um, in stone and so on. Um, if we have sufficient grumbling, we don't want to launch the independent celebrations with grumbling. You see? And um, I, I, I believe that I, I once, you know, um, subscribe to a motto called Let the People's Voices Be Heard. I once subscribed to that. And um, maybe I, I still do. <laughs> Who knows? But I believe it's a fundamental principle of nationalism mm -hmm. that the people's voices should be heard. And I think respectfully that there are sufficient voices that are questioning October 19th as a launch date for the, in the 50th Independence Celebration. In 50th independence celebrations. I, I, I believe that that um, there's a bit of unease and disquiet among us, me, and persons who are even closer to the day than I am with regards to the launch of the 50th independence celebration. But, but, but I, even those, uh, Mr. Gill, if, if I may, even those are who, um, who are victims of uh, the um, the 1979 to 1983 revolution. I'm talking about those who were incarcerated. I'm talking about those uh, of, of, of the GULP persuasion. Uh, Mr. Michael Batiste is one of those who is uh, still a member of the GULP. He op vi viscerally opposes the way that the framing occurs here. So uh, as, as, as Mr. Gill says, uh, that there, that there might be sufficient um, uh, voices, but uh, Dr. Daniel, it doesn't appear as if the committee would be budging on that. <laughs> I don't think your no, parents, no, no, no. Your the Bob report would make a difference. Yeah, huh? we are definitely hearing the voices get come on. You can imagine the calls from people as Peggy, of course. No, 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 yeah. One thing to hear the voices, you have nothing to listen. And, and, um, but what I have found though is that um when as 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 committee members, every committee member has been receiving these calls. And when we um make that connection and let people know this just we are going and unveil. We are unveiling the logo. We are speaking of the theme, both of which have extreme historical significance. That is what is being done. That's what, what, what we are calling launch. The rest of the activity is basically um, towards the National Heroes Day, a time to look at all who would have uh, would have been wrong, those who would have an opportunity to reflect on um, all of the uh, darkness that occurred in, the, in, the, in our past, 
That is that that is the connection. So the the focus is not to get rid of October 19th, but to officially make October 19th a day when we're going to look back at our at the people who would have contributed to Grenada, who would have given their lives for Grenada, those who would have been hurt or harmed by events that occur in Grenada. So it's not really getting rid of October 19th or downplaying October 19th. In fact, what we're doing is promoting October 19th and giving it the national recognition and the official recognition. Historically, it's one of the most historic, significant events that occurred in Grenada during the period of um, our revolution, during the period of our independence. Yes. So it is elevating that day and giving it that sort of national meaning when beyond, beyond this jubilee year, that date and that event is gonna continue. So there we have an opportunity, it presents us with the opportunity to reflect, um, to be introspective, and all the things that we need to do that all the organizations and, and parties and committees have been clamoring for for years. So it is not um, something that is aimed at sidelining October 19th. In fact, it's complementing it. It is putting it on an official footing where we are formally acknowledging that we need to face our demons just as we face the goodness we need also to face the dark days. And so I think it is more promotion of October 19th than trying to put it under the carpet. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, 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 I'm glad you said... Go, go ahead, uh, Mr. Gill. Go ahead. Please. And I take it that the, the persons who have, who over the years, the Dr. Marisho group, for want of a better word, they were consulted on that, mm -hmm. Dr. Crawford, because... You, we, we don't you do not want to have two or three activities there so yeah. you know um I, i'm not sure if they were consulted on what is their take on that particular issue but i want to believe that um anything to do with october 19 that that particular group they must be in the loop and um what this what the the, the celebrations committee 50th anniversary celebrations committee is planning in my respectful view for that day, um, should be in total sort of with what the group who has consistently over the last 40 years would have done to, com to, to commemorate that day. But the, the point I, I, I wish to make, um, Dr. Daniel, and I understand the need to promote that particular day, I think respectfully that making that day a holiday is enough promotion in and of itself of that day and so on. And that um, I know that there is a national celebrations committee, um, um, apart from the 50th anniversary committee that, that comes together, um, the same group that organizes, the same committee, sorry, that organizes events for the November 25th. Um, so that we can promote October 19th, we can elevate October 19th as a significant date in our history and so on. We can do all of those things without launching our 50th Independence Anniversary Celebration. So we can success successfully promote, we can elevate that day in and of itself and so on without necessarily launching the 50th Anniversary Celebration. And, and that is why I think that um, I think the committee respectfully um, is a misstep to launch our, the 50th anniversary celebrations. In, in, in other words, why would we want to launch the 50th anniversary celebrations with all that noise? Is it because when we got independence in 1974, we had so much noise and we had to raise the flag with mass and in darkness. <laughs> so yes. why, why, why do we want to revisit that? So uh, do we want... You know, so I, I I want us to have a smooth, a smooth launch and a smooth celebration. As I said, you know, um, persons of course, you know, reserves the right to agree and disagree with particular events, activities, and so on. But I, I don't think um, it is it is a wise idea for us to launch um, our 50th anniversary celebrations in in, in such a um, 
a, a cloud of criticisms and so on. I don't think that is warranted. I don't think that is necessary, you see. And um, it is a sensitive date. Whether we like it or not, it is a sensitive date and will continue to be a sensitive date. Whether, whether we call it Heroes and Heroines Day, Heroes and Heroines Day can be Heroes Day alone. We have to be gender sensitive as well as we move forward. Yes? So that regardless of how we name it and so on, we cannot get away from the reality that people are hurting, that people are, you know, it's not settling with certain, with, with certain sectors of our society. And I believe that at, at, at 50 years, Grenada should be accommodating more of us. We should be resolving conflicts and resolving issues more rather than creating these conflicts and creating these issues. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dr. Daniel, there, there is a lot uh, that you have to take. I suspect you guys have a meeting um, next week, so I'm sure that will be on the agenda. Uh, can, can, can we petition for that to be on the agenda? We meet every week, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. Thanks for checking out the Bud Report's social media pages. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch our weekly live show, follow our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can catch repeat episodes on Wednesdays at 4 and 5 p.m. respectively on CRFM Radio and GBN TV in Grenada. We are also viewed on Sundays at 8 p.m on WPG10 throughout the Caribbean. Thanks for watching.